My, my wife is a pediatrician, again, as I said before, who practices uh, in, in uh, suburban Philadelphia. She one day came into the office, and there was a four-month-old that was sitting on the lap of her, of her mother. And my wife was actually giving the vaccines. It was Saturday. My wife sort of was pulling up into the syringe one of the vaccines. While she was pulling up that vaccine into the syringe, the four-month-old started to seize, had a grand mal seizure. And, and went on to have a permanent seizure disorder, epilepsy. There was a family history of epilepsy. This was her first seizure. Now, if my wife had given that vaccine five minutes earlier and then the child had a seizure, there is no amount of statistical data in the world that would have convinced that mother otherwise, that anything other than the vaccine had caused the seizure. So it's, it's a tough way to, to go to try and talk people out of the notion of my child was fine, they got a vaccine, and then they weren't fine. And we're scared of the things that really are less likely to kill us and, and, and not scared of the things that are more likely to kill us. I mean, we're scared of, of pandemic flu, but we're not scared of epidemic flu. You know, we're scared of, of botulism and tsunamis, you know, but we're not scared of French fries, which is really what we should be. I mean, what we're likely to die of is strokes and heart attacks. I mean, that's what's going to kill us. But it just isn't, isn't uh, as sexy.